Hello everyone and welcome back to the great city of London to another very exciting episode with lots of new things. First of all, uh, what we need to do is checking the politics again. So there is the election of mayor coming up and the informer position would be available now too. Now we still have Carrick here that might want to become a an informer. Um, so we have the council informer, so Leanne is already in here. Um, and then there's also the arsenal master up. And this isn't the tree that I really want to go into here, right? So um, I can apply for this finally. The only question is with whom? And the judge is available too, to, right? So we got Leanne here. Um, that is, of course, available then. Um, Lorena is certainly not. So two of them available, but I would like to go for the arsenal master. So Leanne, you are up for that. And let's apply for this office here. Um, so three applications are open right now, right? Also the judge here, there is no one that I have right now to assign to the judge position, unfortunately. So that's not nothing I can do. But informer, the arsenal master and the mayor then. Lots of elections there. Let's check it out here real quick too. The first election will be happening today at 8 o'clock and then it continues almost like that. I don't think I can cast my vote on anyone. Oh, there's only the proposal of changing the city laws um, for the agitate the revelers. Um, and we are going to say agitate the revelers. <laughs> so you can basically go into the inn and agitate the drinkers there or what? This should be legal? No, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to decline. Any other proposal? No, no other proposals to change any laws. And certainly not any extortion proposals. That would have been too nice, right? Also, let's continue. Lorena, she's out here right now. We need to do something with her. Lorena is at the moment... City Laggett, she doesn't really have anything to do, right? So what I'm going to do with her, I'm going to send her on a long distance journey for 22,000. Uh, we can afford that. Not so easily as before because we had lots of investments, but it's still going to be fine. Um, we need to do this. Um, I need to continue doing this. It's very good for the for the influence, but not on, only for the influence. It is also very important to get Ember and Brocade. There is the... where do we have it? The, the, the harbor area. There it is, right? The port of London, where I'm continuously also checking if there is anything available here that we can use, like the brocade or like the amber, but unfortunately nothing in store right now. There's also some special offers from time to time where you quickly need to, to get these things done. Vacant offices, the war is lost, the result of vote, vacant offices, more vacant offices, and the gate guard is available now. I don't have any Wondo anymore, right? So we do have already Leanne here. Carrick is going for the Informer. Mm, no, no one that I could actually get in right now. Clara. Clara was where? Clara? 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 Where's my Clara? I think Clara we can actually apply, right? Arsenal is Leanne. She's Council Informer. Informer is Carrick. Oh no, there she is for the council guardian position. So that's the one. There is going to be the election and we have a very good chance of acquiring this since the, the captain is an ally to us. So this will, yeah, this will just work. It's today in the evening. If we fail at that, we can then go for the gate guard right away. But that's, that's, that's definitely going to work out there. Pretty sure. There is a long distance report here right now. So intermediate products are, are up for sale at, at the port right now for good prices. But unfortunately, Brocade is not one of them or Amber. Lorena, there she goes away on a long distance journey. Hopefully, it's going to be successful this time. Please, it's the third one now. So it should just work out. Now, the Apothecary continues to work now finally in good shape, right? So we are really making products there and I'm hoping it's going to be successful. We also got now customers here that are being treated against poison. So they just get here, right? And being then treated just like with the hospital. So this is kind of like our corner here where we are making good use of our businesses. And Clara also pushing into Charisma. I think Charisma is the only thing that I'm really pushing into because it's just so nice for repetition. Um, and I, of course, I do lose a bit of productivity, right? So she's not as productive as my workers, right? She's only at 140 almost. Well, my workers, some of them are 150. But that's still fine because she works through the night and charisma boosts her for politics. And I think this is just better. All right, that's working. Let's have a look at new opportunities, right? Because we have some money and I'm at my business limit, but... 
I thought there would be other ways of getting money and there is, that is becoming an investor. So let's just try and see where we can push our money into that. And the cool thing is there is mines surrounded, uh, surrounding the city, right? Quite a lot of them. These mines either you can get stuff here, like for example, yeah, unfortunately not Ember. <laughs> Would have been too nice to have this here. But we can lease them, we can invest into them, right, money. And we would get money out of them because we would then operate the mine. We can also do the same thing with the lumber yards. Let's just go to one of these lumber yards, please. So there is one of them lumber yard. Knock on wood, for example, where my allied dynasty is actually working here with lots of workers. Um, there's also no amber here, unfortunately. I thought at the, the lumber yard there should be amber then, but unfortunately there's not. We can have a look at the other, other um, lumber yards though, and perhaps one of them has it. But unfortunately, at the moment, I don't think that any one of them has it. Now, let's just check it out. There is a mine here that has no one right now. And we could place a bid, right? We do already have some bids here. So if we outbid them like that, we would get it now. The auction ends at 14.38. So tomorrow at noon, still a bit away. But I hope we get some notification if that is not working out. Let's also place a bid on the other mine. And then I would like to get some... Oh, there's also excavations. That's a quarry. Yeah, let's also place a bit on this quarry. There's no one for that yet. There's already some bits for these quarries there. And then we got the lumber yard. So one of them is not used right now. Let's not outbid our ally, but let's rather vote on this one there. Right, so that's that. You have been outbid. That was quick. Let's bid it again for this one. Auction still goes on though for quite some time. But right, the game tells us about it. Perfect. Also, candidate was successful. Clara Delaney is now a council guardian. And we are going right away and apply with Clara for the judge position. Right? Because now we can do this. She's at tier 1. And with that, we can go to tier 2 right away. Which is the goal, ultimately. Now, mayor position is at 4 o'clock in the morning. There's also another... Oh, that's the agitated revelers still. Right? But that's it. Perfect. Lots of Delaney members now in politics here. That's what I would like to see. And yes, once again, we are mayor. So Valkis was successful and finally, finally up for good here. Once again, on the highest level of the city, where we are probably going to stay for quite some time. He just does like he doesn't notice it. He just act like it's it never happened, right? The barrels are way more interesting. And as we've already figured out, we don't really have that many new actions as a mayor, right? So the city belongs to us basically now. We can say whatever is going on and yeah, the kitchen just is fine too, for now at least. Um, that's basically it. We're still trying to make another baby. It's a bit hard there though. I think she needs a break, a longer one. And that's that. Also, we got the we got uh, the election for the Arsenal Master and the Captain and the Dungeon Master are available now. So Carrick who has his election today as well, should be fine. Oh, and we can also cast our vote here, of course, on Clara. As a mayor, right? We can do this. And the Arsenal Master, we can also say Leanne should get this one. Oh, that's just so easy. How is this even allowed? <laughs> I mean, okay, we are the only ones that can vote for these positions, right? And no one else can. That makes it rather easy. Where's Carrick, by the way? He should have... Uh, Informer, I think it is, right? Yeah. It's at 2 o'clock today. And when does the application close for Captain? Oh, at 12 o'clock for the Dungeon Master. At 3 o'clock. Perfect. So Carrick, once he is an Informer, we could right away apply for the Dungeon Master then as well. Which would be very good because having two in this position here for the ca uh, City Constables makes it easier to change a law right because i think they need to vote on that and having two of them would be nice even though our ally would probably also vote for that um but let's just let's just go for that that's a long-term plan here we haven't been outbid right no i should still have everything available there to me so because i really would like to get these yes highest bid here no we have been outbid and no one tells us that go for this this is highest bid highest bid highest bid highest bid perfect the other ones we should get And there it is, we've won an election, quite a few. We have lost one auction. 
uh, election auctions, of course. And that means now we have a couple of mines under our control. And that also means we can now um, decide what they should produce, right? Um, for what kind of period of time, though? I did not check this one. How long is the lease going? Uh, the next one. That's mine now here. Is auction and... Oh, the next day? At the next day already? All right. That's not very long. Same goes for these. So we do have now lots of workers here, right? So they're working the mine, of course, and they're just automatically producing whatever they need. We got a few things here available. I think for front store, no, we cannot really also decide what we need to produce here. So amber or something like that is unfortunately not possible. We just really profit from the income here, right? So the pine wood, for example, that is there in huge qualities. The same goes with the charcoal, right? It's also in the front store. And let's make the, the storage rules. So we are selling that with a minimum storage of 40, of course. Uh, that's not really important though. Let's make it 20. So 20 these for these, right? And he should then just sell it. So I don't know what he's doing right now. He's here. Oh, and three elections were successful. I guess the Delaney family continues to be <laughs> very important for the city, right? So um, Leanne Delaney is now Arsenal Master and Clara Delaney is a judge and Carrick is an informer. Carrick, you can now apply right away for the next position up here, right? So that would be the Dungeon Master. And uh, Clara, you can go for the Treasurer. <laughs> right, because then we would have all three top tier positions under our control. That is what we need to do there, right? And for the, the city constables, Lian, you should now be able to propose to change the city laws. And I would like to propose that extortion becomes legal, right? And once the proposal has been submitted, a meeting will be scheduled in the city hall in London. Lian Delaney must attend the meeting in person for a voting on that. Let's propose it. And also there are some more elections coming up. Lillian is going to be my choice here. Chamber of Judges. Oh, right. No, we are a judge once again. We have a full schedule for Clara. Clara will also now be fully attending once again. Let's just check it out. Is she already here? Yes, she's already here. Oh, a fine looking lady there as well, our Clara. She is working here as well now in the, the Chamber of Judges. And of course, once again, we need to decide about life and death, or just a smaller fine, really. And Conrad, you get my vote for the city constable, the dungeon master, of course, Carrick gets the vote. <laughs> uh, then we have the judges here once again, judge. And lots, lots of verdicts that we need to, to do here. Any other election? No. But we definitely need to get out of this position again as quickly as possible. Oh god, yes. So many things. London is f really, really big at this point, right? So I haven't really shown this in a while, but the districts are full. Like, all the dynasties built something. So many people now and so many trials. It's, it's really hard to keep up there. Alright, fine for missing the trial is 500 influence. I know, I know. Treasurer up, perfect, and the chief judge would be possible then as well. And where's the where's the proposal of the of the city law? Because we did this right. There it is. It's tomorrow at twelve o'clock to make extortion legal, and it seems like everyone is going to accept it. <laughs> so at the moment, the captain and the dungeon master will also say yes to this, because of course they like me, especially the captain there, and that's two to one at the least. So this is going to work out. Um, that makes extortion then legal. And with that, we will be able then to finally use the garrison to its full potential. That's my hope here. All right, long distance trade is still a bit away there. And I would like to go back to my mining business and just see how it goes for now. Silence is golden. All right, it's being sold, right? The, the prices are very cheap though. But, for example, Justine is now going to the market and getting those things then. So, silver ore. Going to this market there, I guess. And we should be getting the money out of that. 
Yes, there is some coin from, from that. It's not a lot though, but it's a lot of mines, right? And they're tirelessly working day and night to do this. I guess for the mine, can we have another transporter? Oh, there's already four transporters doing it. And lots of workers. It's all being sold. The front store is full as well. There's There doesn't seem to be anything else that I could do here, right? Alright, it's pretty much working automatically anyway, right? It's We are the investor, we invested into that. We get the, the profits out of it. I mean, there's so much gold in here. And so much silver and diamonds. Precious stone. My transporters don't really look like they're doing a lot though. Oh yeah, they are. Alright. But they can't keep up with it. Hmm. What should I do? What should I do? Should I get a transporter of my own and just transport everything over there? Yeah, it's 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 so cheap though. It's barely any profit there. So let's not do this. Let's just profit from it passively um, as we have these buildings and that's it. We can check the books then tomorrow and see how much they made. All right, another day is over. Let's check the books real quick. We made a total profit of 75,000 on the on the last day. And what I can see now is, first of all, very good. My pest houses are all now fully profitable. The mercenary quarters are barely profitable, but that's going to change hopefully soon. Then we got the public houses that are extremely profitable with 10 to 12,000. The grave digger crypt is still doing fine. Scriptorium, 8,000. The barber hut is also doing fine. Um, what we've lost is the sharp razor. It has been destroyed. Let's quickly check this out then soon. And Casanundra House of Herbs are 9,000. And also the Alchemist Workshop is finally profitable again with 6,600. So that is perfect. Candidate was successful once more. Look at that. There's lots of movement here. Lots of positions are empty. What I can see. And Carrick is also a dungeon master now. So we got two in the position here. And Council Informer, yeah, in this lower level, we don't have anyone of our dynasty that we could right now push into this. Um, so it's all about that. Clara is a judge. She is applying for the chief, uh, for the treasurer, though. And then we basically have five people there in tier one and two. That's just perfect. Um, yeah. It's all making profit. Resource providers, we got the excavations. As we can see, they are extremely fine, right? The quarry is at 2.5. The lumberyard is at 4,000, 2,600. The tunnels at 3k and 1.5k. These are our businesses that, that we've acquired and they're all perfectly fine. Problem though is, um, as I have figured out, right, the lease is every day. And if we invest like 4,000 into that, we barely get anything out of it. So I don't think, I don't know how, how valuable these really are. The, the lumberyards at least are worth it, right, so 4,000. 2600 so we can we can think about that we can think about um investing that much into them to make to keep them profitable there all right it's time though now barber hut the sharp razor it was destroyed barbaric barbers oh the other building is not even visible anymore I guess we need to repair these buildings more often. It's not it's not the worst of things, right? So the barbaric hut here is still working though. Um, but I have now a new business limit available there to me. Not not bad, right? I mean I was contemplating already about that because the barbers made around two to four K per day and the higher buildings are just more valuable. So let's just check it out real quick. What kind of new business I could have. And boy, we have lots of options. Um, the scholarship. Oh, the scholar, yeah, the scholarship here is, yeah, we've built every type here now except the preacher hut that I'm not going into. The roguery, we have the garrison there. Um, the veteran gives me with 35,000 another repetition bonus. So let's go for this, right? We can finally afford this one now. Um, you are a veteran of many battles, hardened and proven in combat. You know precisely how to surprise your enemy and exactly where to hit them. So that's that. Handicraft is the only thing that's open, right? The food preparation, we would have the agricultural here, so an estate farm we could have with that. Why not? Hmm. It could be it could be a nice opportunity. Getting up a farm. Or in the handicraft. In the handicraft, we could go with a business like the metals a foundry, right? That goes all the way up to a smithy. We could have a joinery. We could have a a tailor, a clothing shop. 
and we could have the stonemason hut. Not so bad. It's hard. Hard to decide. The farm is probably not that profitable. I'm still going with the farm at some point, but for now, let's dabble into the handicraft. Right, and here I would like to probably go with a tailor. A forge sounds fine too. It gives me the, the gold stuff. The silver bars. And oak, ruby stuff. I'm just looking if I can get the ember somewhere here, but I don't think so. Doesn't seem to be the case. No one of them has anything that are uh, any rare materials, right? So let's go for, I, th I guess, the foundry. Let's go ahead and do this. Metalworking 1, 2, and 3 unlocks the smithy. And also metalworking 4 gives me the longsword and the mace and stuff like that. So that would be my first um, big craftsman production. The smithy, 17,000. Some like it hot. <laughs> and let's go ahead. There is still some room here. Please. There. Here in the city of London. Let's build this right there. And that's going to be hopefully a pretty profitable profession. It doesn't have any services like the apothecary, for example. But it should still be making it nicely with weapons and stuff like that. Alright, did anything change in the meantime? Because we need to be careful. Uh, we got court proceedings. The election is at 10 o'clock today. That's the treasurer. Very important for us. City law extortion at 12 o'clock. That would be this. And also, there's the whole thing about the leases. So at least the... The lumber yards I would like to keep mostly, right? So at, today at 12 o'clock, let's place the bid. Because they are profitable, right? For 1,500, it's a no-brainer. Because they make around 4,000, the lumber yards. The mine... Yeah. Let's go with one, but I'm not going up more. Uh, I'm not going higher than this, right? Because I don't think that it's worth it for the lumber yards, uh, for the mines, the quarries. But for the lumber yard, it is. It is worth it. Oh, and also, Clara will. Uh, Lorena will be back now from the long distance journey. Please. Oh, we've been outbid on both of them. Uh, lumber yard. Lumber yard is still fine. Let's, let's bid one six. A new and a new building has been finished. Perfect. That's the smithy. Fitting in just fine. Even has its shop sign right here. Now let's have a look at that. Right, so here we got now, especially weapons. We got breastplates. I think all of that is legal, right? That's yeah, looking good. Into one of your oh, there's also been a broke a brick in once again into the library. Full sentences. That's here. Do we not have good protection? Building security. Yeah, there's still two levels that we can go with here. Do this. And at the smithy, let's also start with customer satisfaction a bit. Productivity. Boy, these investment costs are steep, but it's going to be worth it. Especially productivity is so important. Building security is really important, especially for the smithy, right? Where lots of valuable metals and stuff like that is lying around. Um, and then the workers. So that's that for now. Ah, what is what is going on? Where is she? Is she stuck? It's full now. She should be really home any second now. And let's hire the transporter. The transporter I'm going to equip with a horse cart right away. So go to the market there, please. And then we got five workers. There you go. The thing is also, with every worker that you have, that also counts for all the dynasties, you get a new person into the city, right? Like Conrad here, for example. And these persons become sick right they can make some wealth of their own and that's just good for us because that means also more customers for the inn more patients for my apothecary and hospital and overall um it's just all working together so nicely a horse-drawn cart there you go for this fella 
And then at the smithy, we are applying the automated production, of course, and also adhering to storage rules. So they should just work fine. Oh, wait a second. One more thing. Hubert, because you're on your way back home, get some grindstones with you. Right, we got five workers. All of them need... Oh. Yeah, let's make it... Can I not choose it? Oh, there it is now. Perfect. So 15 grindstones, what we need. And let's get back home to the smithy. And Candidate was successful. The treasurer belongs to us now too. So that tier one um, council, the city council now is fully staffed with uh, the Lini members. Oh, very nice. So this is just working out. And tier 2 uh, has Lien and Carrick in them. So that's as, m as far as we can go here, right? There's no other members now that we can apply here. Um, and with that, we also get lots and lots of influence now, right? So 350 uh, per round for uh, these titles up here. And even 500 here. Um, so that's yep, close to 2,000 influence per day now that we get out of these positions there. Right, Carrick is... Hubert is back. Let's also put him back on that. And we get... We give them the grindstone here so they can fully work. Up to 150% productivity each. There you go. And let's activate them once more. So I'm expecting big things from this foundry here. And good news! Oh, finally! Someone has come back with... Oh, first of all, we are respected in the city of London. And... What is... What, what What's happening now with the long distance one? I think we now have... A contract that we can use up here. In the trade route. Doesn't seem to be the case. We get influence. That's a good thing. Alright, I will need to check this. What we get out of it. Long distance trade route. No one gets past me. Stay tuned. Employee has died. 